Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel TN Art. I hope you all are well. So let's start today's project. So today I will be doing the Petri dish effect again and I will be adding the beads. So this is my new favorite for the time being. It is really an uh, old technique but I really am doing it again. So really enjoying it. So let's start. I have taken a high viscosity resin here. I waited about 15 minutes and I poured it into a deep mold here. Uh, please note down this is a deep mold. And now I'm adding the inks that complement each other. So I'm going with yellow, pink and orange. So they all complement each other. And I know when I will be combining them, I will be getting a something a beautiful color, not the any smudgy or brown color. So starting off, I will be adding the colors in a sequence here. And after that, I will be using Pinata White Alcohol Ink. So make sure your resin is thick before pouring the inks. So this time I'm getting a bit generous here. And now again with my So again, I'm adding the orange on the side and then the yellow and then the pink. I will be keep on adding the inks until I am happy with them. So these are the beads that I will be adding. So you can add any beads you like. I am I just find random beads around the house and I'm just adding it. So I got a lovely suggestion from a viewer and they suggest me to add a fish or different shapes. So I did order them. So they are on the way. And now what I am doing here is I have added the blue interference mica into some reason and I'm just adding it in a rough pattern. There are no pattern here. And now adding the beads. And now with the inks again. So this is really a fun technique for any beginner to start with. Please just note that use a high viscosity resin. That is a thick resin. And usually they are one to one. Also you need to wait around 15 minutes after mixing. And then pour it into the mold. And then start doing the resin magic here and with that I will be adding some clear resin as well so this everything you add will add some character or effect in it so it will come out amazing in the end that I assure you so this time I'm adding a big bead as well here So believe me, I have so many videos lined up, but when I decided to do something in between, I would have to do it. Otherwise, it st uh, gets stuck into my mind. And please do let me know this, that this happened to you as well. Because I can't function and can't, I can't do the next video until I have done it. So this do happens with me a lot. And now I'm adding this mica interference. This gives such a beautiful effect to the end result and now I will leave it to cure so this is the next day and after adding so much ink sometimes I do wonder that it will cure but it do cure and you can see here I'm just showing you that it did cured so I'm loving the colors you can see I have a beautiful effect of the color here so this is how it turned out I it is really beautiful and please don't worry about the droppings that we had so what I do usually when I got the dropping is that you use a sanding machine and just sand the white parts off and it do comes easily. I did film it but somehow it did, didn't did got recorded. So I, I will show you in the next video the detail if I do get these droppings. So this is not to worry, something not to worry about. You just use the drill bit and do on the whites and you will the whites will go away. But I know that underneath there is such a beautiful effect and I will be doing the sanding now. So this is after how I it looks after sanded. 
So you can see uh, there is very less white now. It's all been so sanded as you can, and if I you have... can see there are spots there that I did have used with the you know, sanding machine. So now I'm do just doing the top coat here because in the end everything will get together. So this top coat is like a magic. It will bring out all the effects that's, that are hidden in the Petri dish effect now. And after that, I will leave it to cure and see you next day and we will see how it turned out. So before showing you the final result, I thought that this is really an important step that has not to be missed because a lot of people get dropping. So how do you remove it? So this is the attachment that I'm using on my power tool and this is how I removed it. If we will consider these black spots to be the white drops and here it is how it, I'm removing them, just doing drilling a little bit and that area is being removed and with a soft brush I will be wiping it off and you will see in a minute that how it looks And with the brush, I am removing all the sanding bits. And after that, I will be sanding this whole coaster with this uh, sandpaper. And I will be doing wet sanding that you have seen in the in that coaster. And after that, there will be a top coat. So this is the process I have done with that, with removing the white. So this is the final result. And I really love it when you hold something like this in your hand and you see what's what's in there and the effects that you see as I'm doing the close-ups you will be seeing that so much is inside this petri dish effect that you can watch it for hours and with these added beads it do add characters and I will doing be doing this videos on this time to time because this is really a stress reliever and uh, I really enjoy making these. So this is it. I hope you like it. And if you did, please do let me know in comments. And also please like, subscribe and share. Thumbs up if you like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, please consider doing so. Because I do create a lot of mixed media stuff and new creations, new molds. And there is so much to be seen and coming your way. So thank you so much. Take good care of yourself. Bye-bye.